minion slots. Not, no one said it, but I crafted some minions off camera to the point where we're only one unique away from the 30th minion slot. Gassed minion is at tier 11, but we have all the silver fangs required. Now I saved up a lot, but I think, I think I had five minions I upgraded off camera. Where's the dude? Oh, I didn't see you there. There we go. 30th minion slot unlocked. Blaze minion is also in need of an upgrade. So let's do that. There you are. So that requires 16 enchanted blaze rod. Not a problem for me. 16 enchanted blaze rod. Blaze minion T12. Boom. <sighs> okay. So now that that's done... I have a lot more upgrades prepared. I have maximum faction reputation now, so this should actually not be bad. The only issue is I don't actually have enchanted mycelium no more, so I should probably do the thing where I fill the entire private island. Hey chat, just for the fun of it, do you want me to check on the solo minions? Okay, since this is the minion episode, this is the minion episode for hardcore. Iron Man. I keep saying hardcore. So this is the minion episode. So I think it would be appropriate to show how ridiculous the solo minions are. <laughs> All right, chat, you ready? Oh, God. So keep in mind, 31 minion slots. They all have the same amount in the hoppers. Oh, my God. That's just a casual 1.75 billion coins. I'm not collecting it, by the way. I am leaving that money in the hoppers. <laughs> How much do I even have in the bank? Two billion. Okay. Yeah, free hype just from minions. I set this up roughly six months ago. Eight months ago, I think. We're eventually going to get to the point where it's one year of the best minion setup. Here it is. Dude, I've been waiting for so long for this. One of the things I daily bought was dandelions, which means... <sighs> Boom. Boom. Tier 12 flower minion. That is one of the most annoying grinds for an Iron Man profile right there. It's one of the most time locked ones, I should say. Not so much. It's annoying, but it's one of the most time locked ones. Oh, Lapis minion T12. Oh, it takes a stack. Eight blocks. How much do we need? Oh, wait, is that exactly enough? Let's hope I don't get bamboozled again. We're redstone minion. Is this one 32 or is it 64? Just like the lap is. It is 32. Let's go. Skyblock level 227. Five health. Nice. All of the minions that are not blaze, we're just going to leave for now. But that brings up the question. What do we do with this? Because I think it's safe to say we went overkill on blaze minions those t9s over the course of the past three months have generated literally like five inventories full of blaze powder enchanted now the only thing that i really have left to craft with that would be amalgamated crimsonite which you need for various things but like i have a feeling this is far too much blaze powder enchanted blaze powder it'll be nice when i want to make the burst stopper talisman you know inferno minions like it will be useful for blaze slayer but that's a little ways away so that brings up the question what do we put now okay you know what mm, i'm thinking about something right now i'm not sure if i should do it okay chat so we're changing gears this is not from the iron minion down there. About that much is from the minion. 32. Out of 128 blocks of enchanted iron. Now, that doesn't seem too bad, right? You have your maxed out Devon. You have the gauntlet. Everything's got the perfect gemstones. It's chambered. It's recon, jaded, heated gauntlet with pristine and compact and all that good stuff. Well, first of all, Pristine only works on gemstones. And Max Heart of the Mountain Tree. Did I forget to mention Max Heart of the Mountain Tree? Minus two things that don't affect your rates when you're mining stuff. So, what's the problem? Why is 128 enchanted iron blocks so bad? Well, the game 
is bugged skyblock moment and for whatever reason the admins i think it has something to do with smelting touch i don't know but long story short when you're in the crystal hollows every ore coal redstone lapis whatever gets multiplied according to your fortune iron and gold ore do not it is the same regardless it doesn't get multiplied which means that it's actually more efficient to either a have an iron route which is way too much effort for the 20 percent extra speed you get or going to a very specific spot in dwarven mines which i know very well by this point you go all the way down here then you go right in this spot make sure you have a scale the pet out and then you do this for seven hours at least probably more like 10 hours imagine doing this for 10 hours although efficient miner makes it a little more no brain isn't that fun it's not it sucks and the reason why people don't really notice it with gold is because no one mines gold ore they always mine the blocks and mine of Devon, which are multiplied. So it's literally just iron left behind is the one ore that is just unaffected by fortune. It freaking sucks. It's something to do with smelting touch, I'm sure. On the bright side, if we go here, we have a ton of rotten flesh. A lot. More than enough for several things I'm thinking of right now. Crystal Hollow's veins give more iron, but it's active. And it's only, a, it's active effort and it's only a 20% increase in efficiency. Not worth it in my book. It is time for me to check the museum as well. I want to see if I have a revived heart in here. Okay, so I have a revived heart, but I also have this crystallized heart. Revived heart times one. And it already comes pre-made with hot potato books three four five six seven eight nine and then we need four stacks of enchanted diamond crystallized heart revived heart times two and then we go in the chest warden heart the one we dropped after five rev t5 kills <laughs> look at that beauty it's got fierce on it which is a little cringe but hot potato books growth five prop five eh. honestly this deserves growth six prop six i think boom and just like that we no longer need the tarantula helmet don't need it tarantula helmet is now obsolete Goodbye. Now we just need the other two pieces. Then we can fill the museum. Now let's get straight to business here. Prot six. Growth six. I have a feeling three-fourths shadow assassin with warden helmet is the play at the moment. Because my crimson doesn't have enough stars. So actually, this is such an Iron Man moment, by the way. The play right now for me. An ultimate Iron Man moment. Three-fourths Shadow Assassin with Warden Helmet. <laughs> it looks so goofy, man. It's like the upgraded Shadow Assassin on Growth 6, Prot 6. Let's go. They really should make projectile protection, fire protection separate from regular protection. It would just make sense at this point. Anyways, there's the Warden Helmet. And I have Ancient on Shadow Assassin leggings. Don't have it on the Warden Helm yet. But I'm very curious. What is my Juju damage? This is like the upgraded Juju Nan right here. Warden <laughs> Warden Helmet with 3-4 Shadow Assassin. Okay. Now let's spec into damage. I would assume Hurtful would be the play here. And then we go in on Strength. And then we swap the pet to Lion. 940 crit damage and 710 Strength. Holy crap. I mean, I suppose there's the Beacon, but we'd really want to use that for bonus attack speed in you know to be realistic but i guess just for the damage test now let's see our bonus attack speed here it's only 18 percent, which makes sense it's fine we don't need to worry too much about that at the moment this is a single shot damage test and because i'm gonna be a little unfair with the rules i'm doing the damage test in the crystal hollows because of lonesome miner giving me a ton of extra crit damage and strength totally not unfair at all 
886 strength and 1170 crit damage. My goodness, man. Let's test our damage against, I don't know, a team treasure, treasure right member. Hello. Was that half a million damage with a freaking bow? <coughs> That's not bad. Now if we're really going to be unfair about it. Mithro Golem, over a thousand strength and 1400 crit damage. That's just not fair. Automaton. But it doesn't have the first strike perk that the lion has, so it's only slightly more. 580,000 damage. We are approaching Aurora Staff levels of damage with a bow that can shoot about four times faster. And with the proper attack speed adjustments probably more like six to eight times faster that is a lot of damage right there Whew, that's pretty good i kind of want to try a blaze slayer without going mage with the daggers but i don't know if i'm ready for that you're fooling yourself with lonesome miner fine i know i know i'm freaking i'm trying to make the numbers look more impressive all right and then in reality everywhere else it's about half that <laughs> 250k that sounds a bit more realistic you don't need voodoo doll in your hot bar put that in the museum i made the point before i left this is going to be a permanent addition to the hot bar especially with the mini bosses on crimson isle it slows them down even if it doesn't do damage it is super useful because it slows down enemies that's the only reason i still have it in the hot bar same with aurora staff like if i run out of mana when using my staff i go to the aurora staff and it's like these three items are going to be in my hotbar for a long time. But anyway, we now have Warden Helmet, bro. I think it would be, it would not be a proper Warden Helmet video if I didn't attempt a Blaze Slayer. All right, chat. This is the do or die moment. Anything else? For a Blaze Slayer T2, I really tried last time. I really did, and it did not work. Honestly, Auto Pet might not even be necessary. I think I'm just gonna want Lion. Mithril Coat for Pillars? Oh, I forgot about. Hmm. Yeah, I need that actually. I don't have Wisp. Oh, the setup's getting worse by the second, but it's necessary. The setup is so scuffed looking, but if it's what is gonna get me to um i do have 200 speed as well that's important but if that's what's gonna get me to killing a t2 then so be it i guess i don't know we were kind of close last time but i do remember the fight took way too long it's because i'm stuck with t1 daggers or are they t2 i don't remember i think they're t1 daggers when do you think the highlights of this stream are gonna get uploaded i would guess in about by now a month it's gonna probably be May, I'm gonna guess May 2nd, exactly a month. I have to remember what to do. I go up here, I use the plasma flux and I do my healing, okay. And I gotta get these right. All right, this is it. Oh God. Ah. Oh, I'm taking so much KB. I'm taking so much KB. So far, we're good with health. Shelmet would be nice. Not gonna lie. This part's taking longer than last time. Oh, there we go. I gotta be very careful not to get knocked off the edge. Whoop! It's dead! No way! That was actually not even that bad. I actually killed it! Was I carried? Did you do? Did you use a hype? I don't think Looter would do that. I think we just straight up did it. Wow, Warden Helmet's freaking goaded, dude. Now do T3? No. <laughs> no. But that is awesome because it means I can get Derelict Ashes faster, which means I can upgrade the daggers and then maybe we can do a T3. Maybe. Probably not. Probably not. But it will make it even easier to do t2s that's awesome all right time to salvage these because we don't need them 